If you truly love nature, you'll find beauty everywhere. The intelligence within every living thing embodies this love. Therefore, it's in our nature to nurture and feed our young. So when we bring a new life into this world, it's not just a baby that's birthed, it's also the birth of an intimate bond between the mother and her newborn. In this week's episode, we'll be taking a trip inside your infant's body and exploring the truth about how breastfeeding reduces infant infections and allergies, promotes weight loss and prevents cancer in the mother, and we'll be comparing breastfeeding versus formula feeding. Stay tuned. Welcome to this week's episode of Medspiration. According to the National Library of Medicine, the historical evolution of breastfeeding can be traced back to 2000 BC in Israel. During this time, children were deemed a blessing, and breastfeeding was considered a religious obligation. If a mother was physically unable to feed her child, a wet nurse would be appointed to breastfeed in the place of the mother. The use of feeding bottles is also believed to be established around this time. Flash forward 3,920 years, and you enter 1920, when the early uses of instant formula first began. Since then, breastfeeding rates in the U.S. have gone from 90% in the early 1900s all the way to approximately 42% in the 2000s. But we do have some inspiration for you. Women for centuries have known how to breastfeed. Babies have been born, placed on the mother's chest, and have instinctively crawled to her breast in order to feed. By the time a baby is about four weeks old, he or she will have drank about 30 pints of milk. That's the equivalent of about four gallons. According to the CDC, breast milk is widely acknowledged as the most complete form of nutrition in infants, with a range of benefits including growth, immunity, and development. The AAP, AMA, ADA, and WHO all recommend breastfeeding as best for babies. Additionally, the AAP recommends exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of infant life and encourages nursing for at least a year if the mother and the baby enjoy the experience. There's no question that breastfeeding is one of nature's most prolific expressions. Some have even deemed it a real life superpower. Enjoy. This is milk on its journey down the esophagus to the stomach. Mother's milk is more than just the ultimate superfood. It also protects her baby from hidden danger. Outside the womb, bacteria are everywhere, invisible and potentially deadly. The baby's day-old skin is under constant attack. There are 10 times more bacteria than human cells in and on our bodies. The baby's immune system isn't developed yet, so it can't fight off infections for itself. Amazingly, the mother fights them for her child through her milk. The close contact between mother and baby means she absorbs the same germs that are attacking her baby. Her immune system creates antibodies, then she delivers those antibodies back to her baby through her milk. Until the baby's own immune system develops, she will keep the baby safe. A mother's body burns almost 20 calories for every ounce of breast milk she produces. If her baby drinks 19 to 30 ounces a day, that's anywhere between 380 to 600 calories burnt. That's the equivalent of about one hour of intense exercise daily. This is why breastfeeding mothers tend to lose weight more easily after childbirth. Studies have also proven that breastfeeding for over six months not only provides children with numerous health benefits, but also protects mothers from breast cancer and ovarian cancer when the mothers are non-smokers. Harvard University estimates that if all mothers were to breastfeed each child they gave birth to for at least one year, they could theoretically stave off up to 5,000 cases of breast cancer, about 54,000 cases of hypertension, and nearly 14,000 heart attacks annually. Throughout the history of wet nursing, the feeding bottle and formula 
Breastfeeding has remained the medically preferred method of infant feeding. Despite this preference, since 1865, scientists have tried to create a synthetic formula equal to human milk. The Instant Formula Act of 1980 authorized the FDA to assure quality control of infant formulas. Based on the recommendations of the AAP, the FDA requires the following nutrients be present in all infant formulas. Although the nutrients in synthetic formulas appear almost identical to the nutrients in breast milk, manufacturers acknowledge on the formula labels that breast milk is the ideal form of nourishment for infants. The nutritional content of breast milk varies depending on the week of gestation the baby is born. For example, the breast milk of mothers who have premature babies contains deliberately higher contents of fat in order to meet the baby's additional nutritional needs. Instant formulas do not change in composition with the infant's age. Thus, formula is not responsive to a growing infant's nutritional needs. The differences in digestion and absorption of breastfeeding versus formula feeding have been linked to three key issues, allergies, diabetes, and childhood obesity. For those of you who are interested in uncovering the truth about breastfeeding, we can clearly see from this week's episode that while breastfeeding may not seem like the best choice for every parent, it is the best choice for every baby. If you've had personal experiences with breastfeeding and would like to share, be sure to comment below and start a conversation. That's it for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the healthiest family on YouTube. We would love to have you. La 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 What's up ladies and gentlemen? So we made this video because one of our Instagram followers recommended it to us. So if you have any content you would like for us to research and make a video on, be sure to comment below and let us know and I'll see what I could do. I wanna tell the whole world about a friend of mine. This little light of mine, I'm finna let it shine. I'm finna take